Hello there, the bearded burbler from down there, and today I'm down near Longford visiting a place called Woolmer's Estate. Let's go and see what wonders we can find there. Situated just outside the historic town of Longford near Launceston is Woolmer's Estate. It was established in 1817 and was contributed to largely by convict labour and the Archer family were the original recipients of the grant on which this was all built. As you can see, the Rose Garden is an incredibly impressive thing and people come from miles around to view that. After moving through the Rose Garden, you make your way through to some of the cottages, one of which is a shepherd's cottage and of course the coach house and stable. In there now are two very old cars which were actually collected by the Archer family and still run. But this was originally the stable and where the coaches were kept. Around many of the buildings in this section is a brick wall. Convict built in similar style to what you see in many of the places of convict built nature in Tasmania. Moving further out into a grassy precinct, we come to the bakehouse, which is now a cottage, and the provision store, which was used to store provisions that came up from Launceston. The main house, which was started in 1820 and built in two stages, is actually surrounded by a convict-built brick wall and has a very formal garden and an incredibly beautiful approach. The building itself still is in remarkable condition considering its age and is reputed to be haunted. The addition that was built second is actually made of brick with rendering and has a formal wall with a secret door. What a wonderful thing. The working precinct of the Woolmers estate is actually quite extensive and expansive and consists of a wool store, a blacksmith shop and a number of other ones that uh, are scattered about within that precinct all of which date back to convict times. The blacksmith actually had his own cottage. This is it here. And of course the orchardist had a cottage attached as well. And that, the orchardist was obviously looking after the formal gardens. Then we have the cart shed with the farm stables associated. And moving across, there is the giant wooden wool shed and associated cider house built off the other side of it. Quite an extensive wooden building and in remarkable condition also given its age. Obviously apples are a well-known product of Tasmania and the cider house is evidence of that. And then we have the grindstone used to grind things in convict times. Well, now that was very interesting. I don't know about you, but I love this old convict stuff and some of this is really intriguing. Anyway, that's all for this week. So we'll see you out there next time, somewhere in what we like to call the two hour circle. We'll see you then. If you like what you see, please subscribe or hit the like button.